I would like to share a testimony concerning a very dear friend of mine. Many years ago, as a young man, uh, he was involved in the dark side of life. His brothers were uh, involved in the drug world, and at 13 years old, they had turned this young boy into a drug runner, and he would deliver drugs and collect drug money for them. And as a result, uh, he began to experience with drugs himself, and it wasn't very long until he overdosed on drugs, and he was in an ambulance on his way to the hospital, and uh, he had OD'd on drugs, and they did not even know if he was going to live or die. His dear little mother was praying, and she was fasting, and she was seeking God, and she was believing God that all of her boys were going to be saved, and that God was going to use them in the ministry and raise them up as testimonies. And, and uh, in the hospital, in the emergency room, this young man came to, and he was speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God gave him the utterance of completely healed and totally delivered from drugs. And it would be a few weeks later that he felt that God had spared his life so that he could preach the gospel. And he began to share that in the local church they attended. And a little saint of God in the church told this young man, said, if you really believe that God has called you to preach and that he's going to use you in the ministry, you need to fast and pray 40 days and nights. So this young man just took that little saint of God at her word and he began to fast and pray. 40 days and nights he fasted and prayed and only drank water. And at the end of this fast, it was very apparent that he had received a supernatural touch from God, that he had even received a special gifting from God. And it would only be a short time later that uh, people would begin to recognize this. And uh, this young man received a telephone call from South Florida, an invitation to come and preach. He's only 13 years old, has never preached in his life, but he accepted the invitation. And uh, he uh, had a friend who was 17 years old. His name was Gary. Gary had an old rattle trap car. Gary said, I don't know if the car will even make it there and back, but I'm willing to go and see. And so they got in that old car, started down the road. My friend said, Gary, I want you to know I've only got $20. Gary said, well, we're going to need more than $20 uh, to make it. We're just going to have to believe God. They made it to South Florida, and uh, God began to pour out His Spirit in that service. Uh, my dear friend did not even know how to preach. He just started laying hands on people. And as he laid hands on people, the sick started being healed. The bound started being delivered. The captive started being set free. He looked back in the middle of the service as people were receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost, speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God gave them the utterance. And he noticed a woman who was in a wheelchair. He would find out in just a few minutes this woman had been confined to this wheelchair, totally paralyzed from the waist down for 21 years. He went back, laid his hands upon that woman, commanded her in the name of Jesus to get up out of that wheelchair and walk. After being confined to the wheelchair for 21 years, that woman got up out of that wheelchair completely healed by the power of Almighty God. They left rejoicing. They started back to Chipley, Florida. And about halfway back uh, to F Chipley, they started hearing a very strange sound. And they thought the car was running out of gas. And 
when the car finally stopped and they got out, they realized that the car did not run out of gas, but the tire was flat. My friend looked at Gary and said, Gary, that's no problem. Said, we can just change the tire and be on our way. But Gary looked at my friend and said, oh, you don't understand. It is a problem. My friend said, why is that? Gary said, I don't have a spare tire. Neither do I have a jack. My friend said, well, I guess we'll just have to pray. Gary said, what do you mean pray? My friend said, the same God that raised that woman up out of that wheelchair after 21 years is the same God that can fill this flat tire with air. And he knelt down, put his hands on that tire and began to pray in the name of Jesus. And while he prayed in the name of Jesus, they both could hear the air as it began to fill up that flat tire. In just a few moments, that tire was completely filled with air. They got back in the car and drove on to their destination safe and sound. I'm telling you today that the God we serve is not only able to heal the sick, but the God we serve is able to do anything that you need him to do. If you're sick in body, he will wants to heal you today. If you're bound in mind, he wants to deliver and set you free. If you're held captive today, he wants to destroy the yoke. He wants to loose the band. He wants to lift the burden. He wants to break the chain. I challenge you today in the name of Jesus to believe God because this is the supernatural. Yeah.